What is up everybody? It's Chris here at Cardinal Bay Customs. We're at the home brew shop working away. Customer had brought in their uh, Z950 and had some alignment issues and uh, wanted a spare tire rack belt. So we do all that stuff here. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what we put into the machine and how it's turning out. So this side here, I just finished putting some upgraded uh, heavy-duty control arm bushings into this unit. And so they're a CRV Power Sports product, um, polyurethane bushing kit. It, uh, the, it had a little bit of play in the control arms. Uh, I walked front to back a little bit. Now the uh, OEM bushings, they weren't, you know, they weren't bad. But they're really hard and stiff. They're really just a plastic bushing. Um, there's not very many miles in this machine, I don't think. But these uh, for sure would fail. I know the ones in my own personal machine, they're, they're done. I need to upgrade the bushings in it. But there's some small modifications that happen during the process of putting these bushings in that I do. And that is the internal uh sleeve the there's a steel bushing sleeve inside of the arm that bottoms out on the perches so that you don't over squish the ends of the bushings themselves now for some reason cf models have made these things large and you're getting front to back movement in the control arm sliding on that inner inner uh, structure sleeve so i just clean up a little bit off the end just to put a little preload on the bushings so that they're they're in there and I mean you don't want to clean too much off of that tube inside or you'll be just squishing the bushing as soon as you tighten it but I just clean them up a bit just so it's firm but you can still get the grease ooze out and now she's rock solid um, this machine has got some goodies on it We've got the Alcas hanging, top of the line suspension system right there. And for those who say the CF Moto's Z Force don't flex, you take a look at that. Like, I'm the shock's in the way. I can go further, and that steering is just getting level now. There are some. Uh, you could definitely build. A really good rock buggy out of one of these because that suspension like I, I that's probably about 18 inches right there I'm just moving it and it will still go higher so something to think about if you ever want to modify it there's a potential there but we'll move to the back we'll show you the spare tire rack so what you see is a 30 inch uh, tire and wheel for the spare for this unit into the custom spare tire bar that I've built for this machine. Now when I build these these tire bars, I build them for the customer for their machine, how what they want, what they want to do. And um, this customer happened to say that he had a nice clevis that he wanted to use. So you know he wants to use the machine so we don't want to have to remove a spare tire bracket they get use out of our machine so I built this one so we can include a removable receiver and he can also put a ball in there or get a second one swap it out but I think that's kind of neat that we can put that on there and it's adjustable for the height that you want you got a different trailer different tongue height and of course we got the logo in there you know I just buried that under some clear coat seal it all up and uh, yeah, we got base clear on that. <laughs> got to make it durable, shiny. But I think it turned out really good. Suits the machine perfect. You know, here's a side view. You know, we're jacked up in the front, so it's a little tipped back, but it's nice. Really nice. So we'll finish this up. We're going to give it a four wheel alignment because he's also put these bad boys in it high clearance arms 
right from uh, I believe they're right from uh, Levi over in Utah he sells these units very nice so you know we're gonna dial it in a little bit here I'll do some frame measurements and get it straight down the road and wearing the tires as good as we can nice and true Alright guys, so that's it for now. Catch you on the next one.